So hopefully y'all can be intrigued and, and learn more about your history because this is black history right here. You don't have to wait till February to learn black history. Right. It's all right here in this Bible. That's right. This has nothing to do with nobody else. All right, give me verse one. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse one. Just to prove more about what I said about these laws. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do all his commandments. So if we listen to the law, to the laws of God, if God told you don't walk across that street and you obey him and say, I'm not going to walk across that street, what's going to happen? Which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. He said it again. He said if we listen, we're going to be above all people, solidifying that there's, there's, a, there's statutes that we have to keep. God's love is conditional. It's not unconditional. He said, if you keep my laws, you're going to be above all the nations. Now go to verse 15. Verse 15. But it shall come to pass, and thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day. If he told you not to walk across that street, and you walk across that street, what's going to happen? That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. God said, come here, sis, I'm going to show you something. This is black history right here. God said, if you walk across that street when I told you not to, you're going to be a cursed people. And that's what happened to us. That's why our people populate these ghettos. That's why you don't see any of these other nations with us in our oppression. It's just us alone because he's only dealing with us from the beginning. God called you to be special above everybody. That's why we're out here. That's why you don't see us out there with the other nations in the, in the best parts. We're out here where our people are at, in the slums, right. in the, in the poverty-stricken areas. Because we're, we're, uh, we're all under oppression right now, okay? Give me uh, verse 32. I'm going to show you the curses of the Bible that God put on us because we didn't keep the laws. Right. Very important information. Verse 32. Now, this is going to prove that we are the Israelites according to the Bible and nobody else. Go ahead. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. God said if you break my laws, you continue to break my laws and not to repent. Read it again. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Now, since I'm going to ask you this. When, did our, when was our children given to another people? What point in time were black people's children given to another people, a whole other people? Let me show you something. Look at that, sis. Doing slavery. Doing what? Slavery. Slavery. Did that happen? Yeah. That God really said it. Happened. God said if we broke the laws of God, our children will be given to another people. That's in the Bible. That's something that cannot be debated. This didn't happen to everybody else. That's right. All right? Our people were the ones that when our children were so... So y'all seen the movie Roots? Y'all y'all seen Roots, right? Everybody's seen it. Now remember when Kizzy was sold to another plantation, right? Finish that up. And thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. And there shall be no might in thine hand. He said there shall be no might in thy hand. So when Kizzy was sold, what could her mother do? What could her mother and father do? No. They couldn't do nothing but sit there and cry as, they, as their baby was taken away to a whole other plantation, never to see them again. This is all in the Bible. Give me verse 48. Is it 48? Verse 48. Therefore shalt thou serve thy enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee. The Lord said we're going to have to serve our enemies. That's right. We have enemies. The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans have enemies, right. according to the Bible. Go ahead. Which the Lord shall send against thee. The Lord sent these enemies against us because we broke the commandments of God. Keep going. In hunger. In hunger. Where'd you get that from, sis? What story did you get that from? Family Dollar. Who owns Family Dollar? Is it our people? <laughs> he said you should serve your enemies as a what? In hunger. For your food, you had to serve your enemies. You had to go to your enemies for food. Yeah. And then what? And in thirst. Whatever drinks you got in there, you had to go to your enemy to get the drinks. Go ahead. And in nakedness. Any clothes that you bought, we don't own those these textile way. companies. We have to go to our enemies yeah. to get them. Right. Finish this up. And in what of all things? In all things, we have to go to our enemies to get them. You got a driver's license? Y'all got a social security card? Y'all got death certificates, birth certificates? We have to go to our enemies to get these things. Just like the Bible said, because that's the whole point I want y'all to understand. Everything that we're saying is coming out of God's Bible, right. out of God's word. 
he told us this is exactly how it's going to happen. All right, so we should be prepared on what to be doing. Right. It's, it's, it's like a cheat code right here. Yeah. You should be reading this to know what not to do so we get back on top. Is yeah. that it? It's more. Read this part. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Hey, sis, he said he's going to put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Hold it up. What did that happen to us? What was see. the yoke of iron put upon our people's necks? Get them signs up. Yeah, the signs are right here. Y'all know we're not making this stuff up. The sign is here. The yoke of iron was put around next in slavery. Right. And lots of slaves that we went to. See that? That's in the Bible. Now give me uh that, give me verse 68 real quick. I'll okay, read that last part. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he hath destroyed thee. Until he had destroyed thee. How are we destroyed? We take on the philosophies of our enemies. Our enemies say it's okay to blind our hair. Our enemies said it's okay for our men to shave their beards to look like women and, and little children. Our enemies said it's okay for women to wear pants and, and, and to be harlots and, and, act, and act promiscuous. It's okay for our men to go out here and sleep with a whole bunch of women, don't marry them, and then leave the kids to grow up without a father. That's what these other nations teach our people. That's right. That's why we're at the bottom right now. God says come back to the laws of God. Right. We're going to clean us up. And it starts with the men. The men get into get in order, yeah. then the woman gets in order, yeah. then the children go up in the household with both parents, yeah. learn the laws of God, being righteous. Mm -hmm. That's the whole point of this Bible. Right. God is bringing us back to this word that is perfect. Give me the laws of the Lord is perfect. That's what I need. Yeah. I'm going to show you the laws, of this, the laws of the Lord are perfect. There's nothing wrong with the laws of God. Everything that he puts in place for us, his special people, <laughs> is for our benefit. There's nothing he's going to give us that's going to put us in a bad predicament. Read that. The book of Psalms, chapter 19, verse 7. The law of the Lord is perfect. It says the law of the Lord is perfect. <laughs> perfect. Flawless. Right. All right? Spotless. Go ahead. Converting the soul. Now, when you take on these laws, you convert your soul to do righteous things. Like, for example, I didn't know about, let's say, for example, fornication. I didn't know sleeping around with a whole bunch of women was a bad thing until I read it out the Bible. Now, once I stop doing that, I'm a better person to my nation. All right? I'm not out here uh, polluting somebody's daughter, leaving somebody's daughter to be a whore. All right? Because think about it. If I'm sitting there sleeping with a, a, a woman, acting like I'm going to be with her for a long time, and then I and I hit, and I, and I quit, what does that do to that woman? She don't know love no more. She thinks every man's going to be out to, to sleep with her and just yeah. leave her. That's right. That's the, that's the whole point. Now, if I sleep with that woman and I marry her and make her, and make her righteous, she'll never know what hatred is. She'll never know that hate. And that's the problem with our communities because we're being taught. Give me no door, no uh, whores of the daughters of Israel. Yes, sir. Zion, that's what I need. Because from the beginning, from the beginning, God said we're going to be a special people. And this is another way we're going to be special. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 23, verse 17. There shall be no whore of the daughters of Israel. No whores of the daughters of Israel. Go ahead. Nor a sodomite of the sons of Israel. So our sons and our daughters are not supposed to be sleeping with the man. Not supposed to be laying with a man and woman. Not supposed to be laying with a woman. That said it. That's get that. Yeah, get that. It's not supposed to happen because God said that. What happens if we do do that? What happens if a man lies with a man? I'm gonna tell you. Well, first of all, you can't get him pregnant. Oh yeah, you. There's no life in that. Can women, can two women produce a child? What about two men? Now, what else comes behind that, doing that kind of stuff? Diseases. These are things that are prevalent in our communities because we came away from the laws of God. Read that. Leviticus chapter 19, verse 29. Do not prostitute thy daughter to cause her to be a whore. The men in this community, the problem is if we don't have a, these fathers in these households that know the laws of God, they're not teaching the woman her value. Right. The woman is so precious in our eyes. Mm -hmm. The woman is precious in this Bible. The women are supposed to be, our women aren't supposed to be walking right now. They're supposed to be taken, lifted up and, and just taken everywhere. That's how precious they are. Right. All right? Our women don't have that mindset today. Our women look at on Instagram and, and, and TikTok and things of that nature, and they want to show their breasts and show their, show their behinds and everything. But is that all you have to offer? That's the problem. We're not being taught that women is more than that. A woman is more than that. A woman should know how to cook for her man and her children. A woman should know how to, to, to comfort her man in times of distress. Right. If a man is doing what he's supposed to do, a work of hard to provide for his family, comes home from a long day, she had to come home to a woman that's snapping at him and talking yak, 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 not having the food ready, not having the kids in order. He should have to come home to that. That's right. right. That's the problem. But you get back to the laws of God, if a man comes home doing something righteous by providing for his family, the woman should be there to, to uplift him, to bring him up. Pillar of rest. Pillar of rest, exactly. 
And then in line, when that gets in line and when he's in a good mood, then the children should be in order. And they should see that example. So when they see that example growing up, they're not gonna they're not gonna stray away from that. They're gonna do the same exact thing. The cycle is broken now. Now you're not gonna have these these uh, families with one mother and 17 kids, or or a man out here with or with five women and 12 babies out just out of nowhere. It's gonna be order and structure. You're not gonna have to worry about diseases being spread. The more women I sleep with, the more chances of what? Diseases, right? Get that for me, the diseases that's not, not mentioned in this book. All right? So if I'm sleeping with one woman, what's the chance of me catching the disease? If I'm, if I'm in order not, not cheating on my wife and my wife is not cheating on me, how can we catch the disease? It can't happen. That's according to the Bible. Get this. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 61. Also, every sickness and every plague, which is not written in the book of this law, them will the Lord bring upon thee until thou be destroyed. Now remember, he's talking to Israel. Remember that. Now, I, we don't see in this book, what's, what's it, um, uh, syphilis, gonorrhea, AIDS. We don't see that in this book. But he says a prophecy saying that there will be there will be curses put on us that are not written in this book right now. So that's why it, we implore... We implore our people to come back to the laws of God. Right. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.